Horton here. Welcome to my watercolour painting channel. I've been looking at colour harmony and today I'm going to be looking at the analogous colour scheme. Analogous means similar. So we're looking at similar colours on the colour wheel. So these colours that are closely related to each other. We usually look at three or four colours. So we can choose three or four colours that are closely related next to each other for our analogous colour scheme. When we do this, it's a good idea to actually choose a dominant colour and then the other colours are secondary to it. Now, I'm, for my daffodils, I'm going to use the yellow, which is the dominant colour, and I have uh, yellow-orange and yellow-green on the other side. But in order to create some neutrals in the painting, because it's going to be all rather strange if it's just those three colours, you actually use the colour opposite your dominant colour. So I have yellow here and the opposite is violet. So I'm going to use some violet in my painting um, to create these neutral colours. And today I'm not going to mix them on the palette. I'm actually going to mix them on the paper. I'm going to first create a yellow, let it dry and then paint over with violet and let there be an optical illusion type of thing where it creates that semi-neutral. The colours I'm going to use then for this painting, Oriolan for my yellow, I'm going to use quinacridone gold for my yellow orange and I'm going to use sap green which I'll mix with the yellow to create um, a yellow green colour. And for my violet I'm going to use dioxazine violet or Windsor violet. Here's my setup. I've placed my daffodils on a table in front of the window with a light behind. This is my first layer and I'm going to paint everything with just Oriolan. Oriolan is going to be my dominant colour. So I'm creating the shapes of the flowers and I'm going to bring the paint over the window frame as well. Um, everything except for the light coming through the window or the highlights, especially the highlights in the glass. I'm dropping a little bit of stronger colour to the centre of the flowers while it is still wet to just give it some added punch. This is my second layer and I'm taking my dioxazine violet to uh, make, create a glaze over my yellow. I'm doing a bit of negative painting, carving out the shape of the flowers. I watch the layer as it dries and just as the shine comes off it, I flick in some clean water into that layer and it creates some lovely texture. I really enjoy doing this when there's a, a large area of dark paint. Um, if it's flat, it looks a little bit boring, so you need to sort of do something to it. And there's the roof outside the window of my neighbour's house, which I want to just indicate because it, it creates some nice shapes with the flowers. So I'm just putting it in and in the window frame there. Now I'm taking a soft brush because it, it dried a bit dark. I want to lift some of that, so a soft damp brush and my tissue and I can lift off that paint. Next thing I must do is tackle the flowers themselves and I've got my drawing here which is quite useful for looking for the little shapes that I want to paint and I'm using sap green and I'm going to drop in a little bit of quin gold, quinacridone gold. It looks quite dark at the moment but it does, it dries very light sap green. My background is now dry and you can see the uh, yellow coming through the violet to create that semi-neutral colour. While the paint was still wet, the violet looked quite strong. These lovely flowers are from my garden and the wind actually blew them over and broke their stalks so we love bringing these in and we've got a few vases uh, around the house with these beautiful flowers. I don't want to paint each flower in isolation, I want to find connections so I all the time am looking how to connect this little pattern with that little pattern. It creates, otherwise you get this 
uh, effect of single flowers. These flowers are all together. Now to paint the stalks. I'm using some sap green with the quin gold mixed into it and then I'm going to drop in little bits of violet and that just seems to work, it works well. I just feel that this part of the windowsill on the left needs another layer of, of dioxys and violet. It was too pale. And then there's a bit of window, darker window uh, frame there that needs a sort of a little line. It just creates the nice patterns and draws the eye in. Um, just soften some of that and I think that's done. Here are my daffodils complete painted using analogous colors. I do hope you've enjoyed this video.